Have you ever felt an inexplicable connection with someone? A connection so profound it feels like you've known them forever, or perhaps even beyond this lifetime. This might sound like a fairy tale, but in the realm of spirituality, this is known as the twin flame connection. A twin flame connection is no ordinary bond. It's a cosmic encounter where two people are said to be different embodiments of the same soul. Imagine a single flame split into two, each burning separately yet sharing an inextricable link. That's the essence of twin flames. Now in this unique connection, each twin flame has a role. One is often the runner and the other, the chaser. The runner, as the name suggests, is the one who tends to pull away to seek solitude to escape the intensity of the connection. The chaser, on the other hand, is the one left yearning, ceaselessly seeking the runner, longing for unity. It's a universal dance of push and pull, of yearning and eluding. But why does this happen? Why does the runner run? And more intriguingly, why does the runner often feel they have control over the chaser? These are complex questions, wrapped in layers of spiritual understanding and cosmic wisdom. But fear not, for we are here to unravel them, to guide you on this journey of understanding the twin flame dynamic. In the coming scenes, we will delve deeper into the psyche of the runner, explore their perceived control over the chaser, and debunk the myth surrounding this control. We will also discuss the impact this dynamic has on the twin flame relationship and how to overcome the control issue. So are you ready to embark on this mystical journey? to gain insight into the spiritual world of twin flames and understand the intricate dance of the runner and the chaser. Stay with us as we delve into the intriguing dynamics of twin flames and why the runner might think they have control over the chaser. Let's set off on this enlightening voyage together. So, what exactly is a twin flame runner? This term may sound like something out of a sci-fi film, Yet it's a concept deeply rooted in spiritual thought. A twin flame runner is one half of a twin flame pair who, for various reasons, often finds themselves running from the intense connection they share with their other half, the chaser. This idea of running isn't about a physical sprint, but rather an emotional and spiritual flight. It's about distancing oneself from a connection that feels too profound, too intense to comprehend fully. The runner often retreats from the relationship because they are overwhelmed by the depth of the bond they share with the chaser. The runner's behavior can be puzzling, even contradictory. On one hand, they are drawn to the chaser by an irresistible force, a profound love that transcends the ordinary. Yet on the other hand, they are often scared, confused and emotionally unprepared to handle such a powerful connection. Fear plays a significant role in the runner's flight. They may fear the intensity of their feelings, the loss of their individuality, or the potential for heartbreak. It's not uncommon for the runner to have experienced past traumas that make them wary of deep emotional bonds. Confusion, too, is a common thread among runners. They may not understand why they feel such a powerful connection to the chaser, especially if the relationship challenges their preconceived notions about love and relationships. They may struggle with the spiritual aspects of the twin flame bond, especially if they aren't spiritually inclined. Lastly, emotional unpreparedness can lead the runner to flee. They may not be ready to face their own deep-seated issues that the relationship brings to the surface. The twin flame connection often acts as a mirror, reflecting back our deepest fears, insecurities and wounds. The runner may not be ready to confront these aspects of themselves, leading them to withdraw from the relationship. With this understanding of the runner, we can now examine why they might believe they have control over the chaser. Why would a runner think they have control over the chaser? A question that may seem puzzling at first, but it's a concept deeply rooted in the dynamics of the twin flame relationship. Imagine being the runner, the one who seemingly holds the reins in this cosmic dance. You're aware of the chaser's persistent pursuit, their unwavering commitment to reach out to you, to connect with you, and to bring you back into the fold. This relentless pursuit could very well give the runner a sense of control, a belief that they are the ones dictating the pace and direction of this spiritual journey. Now let's delve into the emotional investment of the chaser. 
This is the person who, despite the runner's attempts to distance themselves, remains steadfast in their pursuit. Their emotions are deeply intertwined with the runner, their hearts pulsating in synchrony, their souls yearning for unity. This emotional investment, this dedication, may further strengthen the runner's perception of control. However, this dynamic can lead to a power imbalance in the relationship. The runner, believing they hold the power, may try to manipulate or control the chaser. They may use the chaser's emotions against them, exploiting their love and desire for unity. This can create a sense of chaos and confusion, a dance that is out of sync, a journey that becomes more of a chase than a unification. And yet, within this chaos, within this imbalance, there is a profound lesson. A lesson about control, about power, and about the delicate balance that is needed in a twin flame relationship. In this cosmic dance, it's not about who leads or who follows, it's about harmony. It's about understanding. It's about respecting the journey of the other. It's about realizing that control is not about power, but about unity and balance. But does this perceived control actually exist? Let's find out. Is the runner's control over the chaser a reality or a myth? This question has triggered countless debates in the spiritual world. But here's the thing. The notion of control, in this context, is largely an illusion. Let's break it down. The chaser's actions are not puppeteered by the runner but are rather driven by their own feelings and decisions. Yes, the runner's actions may influence the chaser's emotions, but ultimately, it's the chaser who chooses how to react. You see, in the cosmic dance of twin flames, both partners are endowed with free will. This means they have the power to make their own decisions, to act according to their own wisdom and intuition. It's easy to get caught up in the thought that the runner holds all the cards, but in reality, the chaser is not a passive player in this relationship. Imagine you're watching a movie, and you start feeling emotional because of what's happening on the screen. Now, is the movie controlling your emotions? No, it's merely a trigger. Your emotions are your own responses, and you have the power to manage them. The same applies to the twin flame relationship. The runner may trigger emotions in the chaser, but they can't dictate how the chaser should feel or act. The chaser's reaction is a result of their own emotional processing, their own journey of self-discovery and growth. In essence, both twin flames are responsible for their own journeys. They're both seekers, both explorers of the soul, each navigating their own path. The runner doesn't hold the steering wheel of the chaser's journey. They are merely a catalyst a mirror reflecting back the chaser's own strengths and weaknesses, fears, and desires. So, the runner's perceived control is largely an illusion. But this doesn't invalidate the twin flame connection. It merely shifts the perspective. This understanding can empower the chaser, reminding them of their own strength and agency. But how does this affect the twin flame relationship? How does the runner's perceived control impact the twin flame relationship? This question is pivotal in understanding the dynamic of a twin flame connection. In essence, the runner's perceived dominion can create an undercurrent of tension and conflict. It's like a tug of war, a struggle of wills that can breed resentment and misunderstanding. This tension stems from the runner's belief that they can dictate the pace and direction of the relationship, often at the expense of the chaser's emotional and spiritual needs. This power struggle isn't just about emotional turmoil. It also hinders the spiritual growth and union of the twin flames. The spiritual bond between twin flames goes beyond the physical realm. It's a connection that is meant to facilitate personal growth, self-discovery, and spiritual awakening. But when one flame tries to exert control, it creates a blockage, a spiritual roadblock that prevents this bond from reaching its full potential. Imagine a river that flows freely, its water clear and vibrant, now picture a dam blocking that river, causing the water to stagnate and the life within it to wither. That's what happens when one twin flame tries to control the other. The spiritual energy that should be flowing freely between them becomes stagnant, causing their connection to wither and their growth to stall. Then there's the impact on the union of the twin flames. This union is the ultimate goal of the twin flame journey, a harmonious joining of two souls into one, 
but the runner's perceived control can delay or even prevent this union. It creates a divide, a chasm that keeps the twin flames apart. As a result, they may remain stuck in the runner-chaser dynamic, unable to progress to the next stage of their journey. Clearly, this perception of control can be detrimental to the twin flame relationship. So, what can be done about it? In the following scenes, we'll delve into ways to overcome this control issue, paving the way for a healthier, more harmonious twin flame relationship. How can twin flames overcome the issue of perceived control? This question, no doubt, has been lingering in your minds as we've journeyed through the complexities of twin flame relationships. Let's start by acknowledging that overcoming control issues requires a deep commitment to personal growth and understanding. You see, the perception of control often stems from a place of fear or insecurity. To overcome this, twin flames need to embark on an individual journey of self-discovery and self-improvement. This journey may involve introspection, therapy, or spiritual practices, but the goal remains the same to cultivate a sense of self that is strong and secure, independent of the twin flame dynamic. Next, communication is key. Twin flames need to have open, honest, and compassionate conversations about their feelings and fears. It's important to express how perceived control affects them, and in turn, listen to their partner's experiences and feelings. Remember, communication is not just about talking, it's also about listening and understanding. In addition to this, it's crucial to establish boundaries in the twin flame relationship. Boundaries are not walls, they're guidelines that help both partners feel safe and respected. By setting and respecting boundaries, twin flames can create a balance that allows each individual to thrive, while also nurturing the unique bond they share. Finally, it's important to remember that overcoming control issues is a journey, not a destination. It's a process that requires patience, empathy, and compassion. There may be setbacks along the way, but that's okay. What matters is the commitment to grow, understand, and communicate together and individually. By addressing the control issue, twin flames can work towards a harmonious union. But remember, every twin flame journey is unique. This journey is yours to navigate, and it's worth every step. So embrace the challenges, celebrate the growth, and remember, you're not alone in this journey. So, we've explored the fascinating dynamics of twin flames and debunked the myth of the runner's control over the chaser. We've journeyed through the enigmatic world of twin flames, delving into the roles of the runner and the chaser. We've acknowledged the runner's perceived control, but we've also dismantled the illusion, revealing the truth that lies beneath. Just like the celestial bodies they're named after, twin flames are not bound by the strings of control, but are instead fueled by the magnetic pull of a shared destiny. We've dissected the runner's mindset and the chaser's response, the ebb and flow of their interplay, and the impact this has on their relationship. It's a dance, a cosmic ballet where no one leads and no one follows. Instead, they move in harmony, each responding to the other, yet each on their individual paths. As twin flames, they are mirrors reflecting each other's fears, dreams, and growth. The runner does not control the chaser, nor does the chaser control the runner. Instead, they inspire each other, challenge each other, and ultimately they help each other evolve. It's a journey of self-discovery, of spiritual growth, punctuated by moments of intense connection and periods of seeming separation. We've also discovered that overcoming the illusion of control is a crucial step in the twin flame journey. It's about understanding that the power lies within, that both the runner and the chaser are captains of their own souls, steering their own ships through the vast oceans of life. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Twin Flames. It's a profound topic layered with depth and meaning. We hope that this video has shed some light on the subject, dispelled some myths, and perhaps even sparked some introspection. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. Your support means a lot to us. It enables us to continue creating content that enlightens, inspires, and assists you on your spiritual journey. Until next time, keep exploring and growing on your spiritual journey.